मित्रांनो नमस्कार ह्या अलीकडच्या अशा पॅन्डेमिक कंडिशनमध्ये देर इज अ सिच्युएशन हॅपन द इन दिस वे दॅट द वर्क विच वे हॅव टू परफॉर्म इन लॅबोरेटरी वी हॅव टू अंडरस्टँड दिस थिंग्स इन दिस वे सेकंड इयर बी एस सीला जे प्रॅक्टिकल्स आहेत त्या प्रॅक्टिकल्सच्या संदर्भात आपण बोलतो साधारण विद्यापीठाच्या गाईडलाईन्सनुसार सत्तर टक्के प्रॅक्टिकल्स आपल्याला ह्या पद्धतीने शिकायची आहे सी फ्रॉम कॉलेज यू हॅव बीन टेकन द रेकॉर्ड बुक्स असो मग आपण या व्हिडिओच्या माध्यमातून जे एक्सपेरिमेंट समजून घेत आहोत ते एक्सपेरिमेंट आपल्याला ह्या पद्धतीने या चार्टमध्ये जसं दिलेलं आहे अगदी तसंच त्याच रीतीने आपल्याला त्यात लिहायचे आहे आणि ऑनलाईन ज्यावेळेस तुमची प्रॅक्टिकलची परीक्षा होईल आणि त्यावेळेस सबमिशन सुद्धा आताच्या विद्यापीठाच्या सूचनेनुसार सॉफ्ट कॉपीद्वारे तुम्हाला करायचं आहे सी व्हेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग हिअर द एक्सपेरिमेंट ॲट द सेम टाईम यू हॅव टू गिव्हन द यूट्यूब लिंक फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टँडिंग ऑफ दॅट एक्सपेरिमेंट यू हॅव टू सी दॅट व्हिडिओ ऑल्सो सी थेरॉटिकली जर प्रिपरेशन आपल्याला करायचं आहे तर त्यात सुरुवातीला टायटल ज्याप्रमाणे इथं यच बाय फोटो सेल यच मीन्स प्लँक्स कॉन्स्टंट हे झालं टायटल त्यानंतर एम यू आर एबल टू सी द एबल एम विच यू कॅन सी ऑन इन दिस व्हिडिओ देन द ॲपरेटस विच आर यूज फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट देन कॉन्सेप्ट बाय डिस्कसिंग द थिंग you can have a concept then theory then how the experiment is performed then observations then result and conclusion and significance of the experiment ani ya sagya goshtincha support sathi we are giving you the youtube link for better understanding and for by that link you can see the experiment see friends here yatch by photo cell this is the title of the experiment aim of the experiment is 
we are going to determine the planck's constant by photosay see the apparatus required for this photocell is a photocell pixel in this circuit diagram you can see the photocell this is a photocell in this evacuated glass tube this is a half semi cylindrical part is nothing but a photo cell this acts as a cathode at the same time this acts as a anode it is here ballistic galvanometer is connected here this is a lamp again lamp and scale arrangement is uh, there for getting the idea of the scale or means uh, if we want to measure what is the deflection then rheostat is there here is the rheostat low voltage dc power supply here is the low voltage dc power supply or a battery of low range voltmeter plug this is a key plug etc see friends this is nothing but the circuit diagram for perform perform the experiment h by photocell means we have to calculate the planck's constant by using the photo cell friends here is a filter this filter means simply a red paper yellow paper green paper alternately we can use the light rays are passing through it and they are striking on this semi cylindrical part by which there is a emission of electrons takes place that are of a negative charge and attracted towards this positive anode you know, and due to which this emission the photo cell acts by which here through this uh, ballistic galvanometer we gets a deflection we measures the voltage what what which a volt uh, volt yeah, voltage we are applying to this photo cell this is a rheostat and rheostat is nothing but the variable resistance by which voltage is adjusted this is a bet friends this experiment is a concern with the quantum mechanics now we will see how this experiment is performed here the procedure is written the circuit is connected as per the diagram above and usual adjustment of a ballistic galvanometer is made first then filtered light just we talked about about the filter that a red filter green filter etc the filtered light is allowed to fall on a cathode cathode is a k here then distance of the lamp from the photo cell is adjusted and such that the spot on the scale gives fairly high but within the scale a deflection then third one 
the key k is closed and the reverse step is existed so that the voltmeter shows a reading to above we can say about 0.1 volt the deflection appears to reduce if the reading is noted when the spot becomes steady quickly the tap key of ballistic galvanometer is placed intermittently see here this is a tap key is tap key pressed to adjust the deflection if it is a going out of scale then fourth one the voltage is increased to next highest step that 0.15 or 0.2 volt in this way then the deflection reduces further this procedure is continuous until the spot moves to the opposite side of the zero mark means the negative deflection about 4 to 5 reading are taken on the negative side and using another filter there means uh, if uh, firstly we are going to use the red filter then we have to use the green filter in this way using another filter there is similar set of observations is taken and that observations are noted or recorded in the table which is given here see this is a for without filter then red filter blue filter one by one you can take it serial number and for uh, without filter what is the voltage applied what is the deflection of spot in centimeter then for red and then for blue continue to write here then a graph is plotted between applied voltage and corresponding deflection as under the stopping potential vs1 and vs2 for the two filters <coughs> are determined from the graph see here this is a x axis y axis on this axis deflection is plotted by taking a suitable scale and see here v as a stopping potential is plotted here then this is for filter 1 this is for filter 2 this here is a stopping potential vs1 here is a stopping potential vs2 and by using this uh, formula h by e 1 by c multiplied by lambda 1 lambda 2 in bracket v v vs stopping potential lambda 3 minus lambda here e is the charge on the electron 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 vs is nothing but the stopping potential delta of vs by taking a difference of uh, vs2 minus vs1 we get uh, vs delta vs then c is the velocity of light then wavelength of red light is given lambda 2 that is uh, 706528 and then wavelength of yellow light that is 5876 putting these values here putting all the values we can calculate the planck's constant by calculation we have to write here and by theoretical aspect we are getting 6.63 mi into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second friends in this way we can perform this uh, uh, experiment in the laboratory now you have to go one by one uh, write these things on your paper on your record book and whenever you will uh, you have you have asked to submit it 
then you have to submit it. And uh, whatever it, it may be the problem for you, for uh, if you have been not getting something, you can ask through the Telegram app uh, as um, by putting a, just a message. Then again, we will try to solve that problem in this way. Now we will uh, conclude this edge by E experiment here only. But keep in mind there is a link, a YouTube link which is given or which will be given to you for getting the clear idea of edge by E. You can see the how it is performed in laboratory also. Thank you very much.